everyone, welcome back for more Breath of Fire 3! Now this is going to be kind of an awkward episode for me to record, and the reason for that is because I do not hear any game audio at all. Now I know so that sounds weird, but basically my speakers blew out, um, and I have to buy myself a new pair of speakers. Um, and usually, normally I use my, uh, my speakers to capture my, um, when I record to capture my, um, in-game audio sound and all that, I use my speakers to do that, and since they're blown, I can't hear anything, and I, I haven't figured out yet how to set it up where, um, anything that comes, where I can record in-game sound from my headset, you know, I haven't, it doesn't work too well for me for whatever reason. But that's alright, I can uh, work through it for this one episode, uh, I'll buy cheap $10 speakers or whatever tomorrow, that's fine, and just go from there. So, yeah, we're actually finally starting to get to the interesting parts of this game. Uh, the first hour can be kind of boring, but um, after this cave, which pretty much actually starts picking up a lot, and we can do quite a few side things. Uh, not a lot of side things, but we could do a few little things that I, I always found kind of neat. And then, you know, we can uh, just continue from there and actually get into some real story. Alright, over here we got the Talisman. Now, the Talisman is a, a really neat um, piece of equipment. Uh, let me see, I think it's put on Dario. And it's very good against a death. There's enemies you'll encounter later on that use horrible things like instant death stuff like that so just I'll throw it on um oops did I throw on Ray? I didn't want to throw on Ray. Shit. How do I get rid of it? How do I get rid of it? Oh man I don't know how to Oh there you go. I didn't want to throw on Ray I meant to throw it on Dario so we'll give Dario the talisman and should be good to go. Alright so that's it for all the treasures to be had in the cave. And now let's go find out where the new ran. Okay, okay, this time I really got it. We dive in from here. And then we float down to that spot we saw before. Yeah, that's it. Hmm, what do you think, Dario? Is Tipo right? <laughs> no, absolutely not. We're not diving in no goddamn river, okay? That's crazy. Okay, Dario, you go first. Wait! Oh, alright. The current is running strong! Do you want to dive in? Yes. Whee! Ah, here we go. We're all suicidal. I mean, haven't you ever seen the movie The Fugitive? You know? You, you just... You don't... You, you do not jump into waterfalls. That's... That's asking for it. <laughs> See, I told you so. Uh-huh. It's a good thing it's a video game. And you can't die. But what, but what would we have done if we kept on going? I don't know. See, this is my reason. If you just saw right there, Tipo, the way Tipo uh, cleaned out her hair or tried to get water. I mean, he. The way Tipo took water out of his hair and tried to clean it out, whatever. It made the way he took it took it out look like a girl, right? I mean, that's how girls usually clean their hair; and they have long hair. So, I don't know. I just found that weird. This is why I get confused on his gender, but obviously it's a male. I guess it worked out okay. So let's go. Let's go. We can't go because there's more battles to be had. Two bats. Ah, they're a joke. Kill them. They defend. He defends. I attack. Bats are the, really the easiest uh, things you could possibly encounter. So, when you get them, take full advantage. Okay. E e e blood. The blood. Oh my god, there's blood everywhere. Alright, let's heal up because we have a boss fight coming up. So we're going to actually use... Uh, eh, why not? Don't be shy to use your healing herbs. It doesn't matter. I only have two left, but we're going to end up wasting all of our money anyway very shortly and you'll see why in a bit but we want to fully uh, we want to be fully healed we're all level seven six 
seven, and now we're ready to take on. It's the monster! Ah! It's back, and now I actually consider this our first actual full boss fight of the game. Um, yeah, he looks pretty worn out. Blah -de blah. This should be easy, right, Ray? Right? I hope so. Yeah, we fought him before, obviously on the mountain, but he ran away. But now this is actually where he brings up. He brings. He brings it pretty much. He's not gonna play around now. Now he's gonna go full out. So this is our real first boss fight of the game. We're gonna pilfer with Ray. And see, you continuously try to get that uh, item out of him. And with uh, Tipo, we're going to use Simoon because he seems to be weak against flame and wind attacks. And Dario is going to cast uh, Protect on... I'll start with casting it on uh, himself. So that's a good, good way to start off the battle. Again, Pilfer didn't work that time. I couldn't steal anything, which sucks, but... Ah, reprisals. I forget, the enemy counters all physical attacks, so we gotta be careful with that. So, when you go very attack physically, you're gonna wanna make sure that... Um, I have Protect on a few people. A new Stomp! He's gonna go after... My character! Good thing I just used Protect on him. He probably would've took about 20 damage if I didn't. Alright, Ray. Let's try again, Pilfering. Tipo. Simoon. Dario, protect, and we will use protect this time on Tipo. So, pretty uh, repetitive at first. Again, couldn't steal anything. I'm having no luck stealing. It's like, I forgot what it is, but it's like power something he gives. I don't know. I don't remember. Uh oh, was he going after that? Dario, let's see if protect did anything. Not bad. Protect actually did very well that time. He only um, hit me for four. Normally, you would hit for like eight or twelve. Alright, protect on Tipo, defense up. Simoon. Simoon is a very, very powerful ability against this enemy off the bat. And it's definitely showing right away. Alright, another Simoon. Dario, protect. Let's get protect on our final character, which is Ray. And then everyone will have protect on, and we should be good. And then Dario can start. Probably gonna have to heal his next turn. Oh boy. Simoon! That's a cool ability name too. I think it's pretty neat, Simoon. I don't know, something about it is just really catchy. Ray is having no luck stealing, and that's the one thing that's kind of aggravating me right now. Ah, back after Ray, he goes. He missed! <laughs> you fool! Alright, Ray, Pilfer. Tipo, Simoon, and Dario, you're actually gonna. He uh, no, not influence. You're actually gonna heal yourself. And this is where the enemy now goes a little berserk and actually st starts hitting a little harder. Um, he casts Jolt, I believe, once. Oh. Heal! And when he does that, everyone takes a ton of damage. But uh, he, he could only cast it once, so that's the one good thing. Here we, oh, no, I thought he was doing it already. Sumoon again. Here it comes, I think. Jolt, here we go. Woo! That hurts. That definitely hurt, no lie. Alright, Pilfer, Sumoon, and Dario, heal, Ray. But we're pretty leveled. We're in good shape for this boss. Uh, no one should die, hopefully. And... Oh, boy. Cutting it close there, Ray. And Ray just can't get seem to steal what he needs to steal off the enemy. So, And there we go. He tried to use Jolt again, but he's out of AP, so he can't do it. So we pretty much got him pinned. He's dead. No luck stealing. That's fine. Don't even worry about it. He defeated a powerful enemy. We got a lot of experience. Ray leveled up. He's level 8. More Zenny. And we did it. Huh? It's dead. What do you mean it's dead? Alright, let's use our last bit of AP to heal Dario, and should be good. Now we have two choices here. We can either straight up leave, or we can go see why the enemy sprawled out like that. 
Uh, it only affects a little bit of dialogue coming up, but I always go check because it makes the story a little more emotional and believable and more intriguing, so... It died on its feet like it was trying to protect the cave behind it. <gasps> they're... They're cubs. But it looks like they've been dead for a long time. That new must have not have realized they were dead and kept on bringing food back for them. Boy, it wasn't too bright, was it? I mean, its cubs were already dead. Now, I can't hear the music, but I believe this is where they cue uh, some very sad, sappy music, if I'm not mistaken. Boy, if this doesn't beat all, sheesh. That's kind of sad. We kind of, uh... Third Cubs. They're dead, dead for a long time. So it's kind of sad. It's like uh, we came all the way up here by Bunny, and why did he send us here? And we ended up killing... Uh, innocent creature who was just trying to make a living and protect his his little ones. So it looks like if you jump in, the current will carry you out. Do you want to jump? Yes. Well, we're all done with uh, Mount Claus. Why did Bunyan send us here? On a way out. Tired of getting wet. All this water. Ah, speaking of the devil. So, how does it feel to do some real work for a change, huh? When spring comes, the animals will return and life will get a little easier. You all did a good job. Congratulations. Why don't I feel like I did a good job? Wait a minute. You knew the new was only hunting for food for her cubs. And you still had us kill her? If you had known she had cubs, would you have let her live? Boy. Goes to show you, you know, it's survival of the fittest around here, I guess, but it's kind of sad. It really is, you know, for all you, especially for all the animal lovers, they killed a poor innocent lion. I'm sorry. And so, spring came at last. Spring came to the mountain, into the woods, into their inhabitants. And the virtue of the young boys who saved the village from the ferocious new chimera. <clears throat> yeah, ferocious. Give me a break. Earn them a place in the villagers' hearts. <sighs> they forgive us for stealing. I'm home. I went to the West Woods, looking for animals and berries, and look what I found. Now we don't have to worry about food anymore, right, Ray? It's a good thing we got rid of that monster, huh? I suppose so. You're not going soft on us, are you? Hey! Hey! Sorry, just kidding. Why don't we go down to the village and show them who did it? Tell them who got rid of the monster. Why, and show off? Hmm. I don't know. Isn't it better if we don't brag about it? Why is that? 
because good things never come from braggers. But I suppose it wouldn't hurt to go and see what they're saying about us, would it? You nosy little. Then we can go. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, chameleon. Come on, let's get out of here. We are the one to save the day. I don't know what I'm singing, but we did it. We did it. So, there's a few things we can do now, um, two of which I will be doing the next episode, but I'm just trying to get us basically out of the forest here and back into the world map screen, but uh, basically now, we can go fishing, and fishing is going to be very useful for, for uh, what we have coming up, like, we're going to be able to get two very powerful, or decently powerful armor and a weapon for uh, our main character Dario and also we're gonna be, we're gonna be able to get that by fishing and also we're gonna meet our first master and I'm not sure you haven't decided yet who I'm gonna make as the master uh, who I'm gonna learn from the master with to start off I th I'm thinking probably Dario since since Dario is the weakest attacker, and he's probably going to end up being a healer, and, you know, something like that, so he'll probably, I'll probably have him learn from the Master first, I'm not sure yet, I'll decide between, uh, after this episode's over, before I record the next one, so we just got to make our way out of here, ooh, how did I miss this, green apple, I don't even know what these, what these apples are for, kitty, ah, that was my cat meowing in your ear, I apologize, what are the apples for? Green apple restores 20 HP. Ah, it's junk. It's junk. Something is trying to attack. What's going on? The boss goblins. We fought all these guys. These guys are all a joke now. We can just tear through them easily, so I'm not even going to bother editing out the battles. I'm too lazy to do that, but... Yeah, the story now starts getting more interesting. Uh... This is where all this little side junk of favors and all that steps aside and uh, it actually starts introducing a little bit of story, so we should be getting into that soon. I'm just trying to get out of here, but monsters won't let me. What's going on? Come on, get me out of here. Man, I took the wrong... I took the long way out, didn't I? Ugh, God. Just kill it. Kill it all! Kill it all! Hey, kitty! This cat is being weird. We're all level 8, and we have over a thousand zenny, which is going to turn into zero very shortly. That's not good. Uh, that's Bunyan's house. We went the wrong way! I'm lost! Okay, so I'm not lost. I'm just burning episode time. What can I say? Stop influencing me, it takes too long. Just die already. And appreciate it. Twelve. Dario does get a lot stronger later on, so... I don't know. I don't get it. Alright guys, so we're on the world map, just like I wanted to get. So, we're gonna stop the episode here. In our next episode, we will head into the village of McNeil and see what everyone's saying about us. And then, we will go and learn from our first master, which is up here. And then, we'll spend the episode fishing! Yay! So, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Breath of Fire 3. And we'll see you guys next time. Later.